Hail, Holy Mother, who gave birth to the King, who rules heaven and earth forever. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Today we celebrate this Mass for the intentions of Frank Williams, and we celebrate this memorial of the event of Fatima uh, this May 13, and we ask God's forgiveness for our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, may he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose the mother of your son to be our mother also, grant us that persevering in penance and prayer for the salvation of the world, we may further more effectively each day the reign of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul and Barnabas and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about this question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, telling of the conversion of the Gentiles, and brought great joy to all the brethren. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church, as well as by the apostles and the presbyters, and they reported what God had done with them. But some from the party of the Pharisees who had become believers stood up and said, it is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and the presbyters met together to see about this matter. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, we will go up to the house of the Lord, and now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city with compact unity, to it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let, Let us, us go re rejoice into the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let, Let us go, go rejoice into the house of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that he does, he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. 
Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be, like, will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into the fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Our uh, readings from Acts of the Apostles are fascinating uh, regarding the journeys of Paul, and, but, and also our Gospels then are, are uh, taken from John, and they are uh, at the Last Supper, and they in themselves are very um, instructive also. But today, uh, let me say that this Wednesday, let's look ahead to Friday, same time, same channel, we'll cover the Acts of the Apostles and also touch on the Gospel reading, but today I'd like to focus on... Uh, the uh, celebration that we have today, the event of Fatima, the apparitions of Fatima, Portugal, which occurred 103 years ago. Um, and it, it's very uh, important devotion uh, in our Catholic world today and continues to be. Uh, in the events of the apparition of, of, uh, of uh, at Fatima, it involved uh, three individuals, uh, our Blessed Mother, and then three young uh, children uh, from rural uh, Portugal, uh, Lucy uh, and uh, Francisco and Jacinta. And uh, Lucy and Jacinta, uh, sisters, uh, Francisco, their cousin. Um, and these young persons, all less than 13 years of age, I, I have to stretch my memory, but on May the 13th, to, uh, 1917, our Blessed Mother appeared to them as they were out in the countryside. Uh, and our Blessed Mother appeared a series of six times over five months. And the, during this time in these apparitions, she's identified herself as the Blessed Mother who came from heaven. Uh, and she was dressed beautifully as Blessed Mother who comes from heaven in very distinctive uh, uh, a Lady of Fatima garb, uh, the white with the gold trim on her, uh, on her uh, vestments uh, and such. Uh, and her message was, uh, in, in its essence, it was pray the rosary for peace, for an end to World War I and for peace in the world. Um, and this, and also, uh, do prayer and penance. Uh, this was our, the main message of, of Fatima. Now, uh, over this uh, period of time, she, of uh, six apparitions, uh, she re also revealed uh, three secrets. Uh, the first had to do with uh, the uh, 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 situation at that time in 1917, 1918. The next had to deal with World War II and its uh, the the ominous signs leading up to World War II, and the third had to do with uh, the 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 end of the century and beyond. So have we uh, uh, have we uh, lived all three secrets? Uh, well, no, uh, not in all. They're still we're still can be said to be waiting for fulfillment. But the happy news uh, about um, uh, the message of Fatima is that in the end, our Blessed Mother's Immaculate Heart wins. So that's, we, we know the end of the story and it's a happy ending. It's just living all the drama and the scenes that lead up to it. We've got a ways to go yet, uh, it would appear. Um, our Blessed Mother, uh, in order to, uh, um, I shouldn't say in order, but our Blessed Mother in her great wisdom uh, invited uh, many people to come to the apparition on October the 13th, 2017, and, and to witness. And so some 70,000 people came, and she, our Blessed Mother had promised a great sign to help people believe. And, and so there we had the miracle of the sun, where the sun moved in 
uh, 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 dramatically through the skies and also the um, uh, appeared to come close to earth and, a, and a, uh, miraculously dried everyone who was drenched in a, in a rainstorm. And by 1930, uh, the church had uh, proclaimed uh, Fatima to be a verified uh, apparition worthy of pursuing, a devotion worthy of pursuing. And so we, we do have the, uh, 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 continuing to have devotion to our Blessed Mother of Fatima. And most recently, uh, the main uh, character in the saga of Fatima was our Holy Father, Pope John Paul II, uh, very much saw our Blessed Mother of Fatima protecting him when he suffered an assassination attempt. In fact, the very bullet that was lodged in his body uh, as, as they had it removed, he had it placed in the crown of our Blessed Mother, of the statue of our Blessed Mother in, in, in the Basilica of, of Fatima in Portugal. And it's, it's quite a compelling uh, story, quite a compelling uh, tale. And so we look to our, our Blessed Mother uh, and above all with that great hope in her immaculate heart. And she has promised it and like her son, uh, she will uh, fulfill her promise that her immaculate heart shall win the day in the end. Blessed Mother, give us courage to arrive at that day. Let's please stand as we bring our knees before God's altar. We pray for all the baptized in the church. May the grace of our baptism and our participation in the life of the sacraments may it strengthen our commitment to Christ and the gospel, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who exercise leadership. May they be persons of truthfulness and integrity. May they seek the welfare and the well-being of all persons. For this, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear we. We pray also for those who are suffering illness uh, and for those who are in chronic pain. May God's healing touch enter into their lives. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for our Christian families, that our Lord may lead us to open our hearts to him, and therefore be open our hearts to one another. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray also for peace in the world, that through our blessed mother, that peace may be sought in earnest by all nations. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died, marked with a sign of faith. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O Heavenly Father, we ask that you grant these our needs through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. We may be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no, requ no request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to the earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your, and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, with Benedict our Pope Emeritus, and Carl our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father. A spiritual act of communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, O Lord, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that, <coughs> excuse me, as we honor, as we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, O Lord, your mercy, that we, who rejoicing in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary, may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, and on, I uh, comment uh, on special feast days uh, such as this, uh, particularly directed to our Blessed Mother, uh, why, doesn't, why isn't the entrance antiphon and the communion antiphon the same as I have in my, in my missalette or my, uh, my other book, devotional book? Well, it's because there's perhaps at least four different options, four different uh, options that are given and uh, they may not put the first option uh, in, in the devotional book as the one to, to have. Uh, uh, in most cases, as we have many different options, uh, most, most of the time the priest will choose the first option in the book uh, and use that. Uh, I know that's frustrating sometimes. The other announcement, very quickly, um, the praying of the rosary before Mass. It was a very tradition of... Uh, of uh, Our Lady Guadalupe, and I think it, and I firmly and fully want it to be again. Uh, I will get, make sure that we have approval to be able to pray the rosary before mass. It seems like we have much, much being uh, guidelines dictated to us. Uh, and then uh, as we uh, begin that, uh, that we are prepared to be able to do it and televise it. So that means that our participants uh, we would have at least sound available and also perhaps some type of a devotional image, maybe our lovely stained glass windows as a backdrop. So, uh, but I see that happening in June, happening in June that we begin to have uh, at least the televised uh, praying of the rosary uh, before Sunday masses, before Sunday, Saturday evening, Sunday masses. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heaven, by the gods, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen.